what you will need is a piece of fabric any scrap scrap fabric will do which is 20 centimeters by 11 centimeters the 11 centimeters basically allows it to have a little bit of um, seam allowance but it's roughly um, two by one you'll also need little pieces of felt so enough for a um, the, the comb and the wattle and a beak you will need a needle with some thread you'll also need some um, thread later on to make the eyes but you could also sew on buttons or draw them on or use a piece of felt and then for stuffing you'll need a bit of stuffing or cotton wool um, and some rice to give it some weight now normally I would make this on a sewing machine but because we are doing a little video I thought it'd be easier to show you how easy it is to hand sew now you can see my piece of material lining it all up and I'm going to put position my features so you have to put it inside out so that's going to be the the wattle so to speak like that I'm going to put it right to the edge not too close because you're going to be sewing here and you don't want to sew it on by accident your beak I'm going to move it over a little bit in fact you know what I'm going to make it stick all stick out a little bit just to make sure it's all in place there we go I'm just using some little some needles to pin it. There's one. And I think maybe we'll get away with just one more here and move out of place a little bit. Right, now you're ready to sew. Again, if you're machine sewing, you just go quick up and round. So we're going to sew these two sides first. Um, obviously I'm hand sewing, so it might take a little while. Um, in fact, I'm going to speed this part of the video up, so I'm just going to sew along the edge. So, I've sewn up and across. I've left my thread on because I will need it again. Now comes a moment of truth. Did I position my beak and everything nicely? Now, to do the eyes, I do a little French knot. Chicken. So now you take a bit of stuffing. The stuffing goes where the head is, at the top of the head, because you want the weight to be at the bottom, like so. So I've just literally a little bit of hand, handful. You pour in your rice. It's it's no, I haven't got an exact figure of how much rice you put in. It's really just a, you know, you feel what feels good to you. It's probably a couple of tablespoons for two or three tablespoons. There we go. And now. Here comes the magic bit. You're not going to sew it up like this, because that would be a flat chicken. You want it to sit up. So the way you do it is you take that and then you pull the sides apart. And then this line should be in the centre of the back. Now I'm going to sew it up and tucking this in, like so, to create a seam. Like that. This is where you get that lovely pyramid shape from. Even though you're only draw sewing straight lines, it's really easy. And now you need to sew this shut. Again, you could run the sewing machine over it if you wanted to. I like to just sew it. I kind of pick up the thread. I go inside and sew it along. So I'm doing quite a reasonably neat a closure here but if you're if this is a first sewing project I think doing a straight line down the bottom is totally fine and it will still look cute you have your very own little juggling chickens in here adorable 